Could be the year medical marijuana is legalized in Kentucky. As WDRB's Monica Harkins explains, the bill's sponsor tightened some restrictions to try to get it approved. Monica? Representative Jason Nemes says this year's version of House Bill 136 cuts out pieces he'd like to see in it, all in favor of appealing to more conservatives. What I would do if, if my son's physician or if my wife's physician said it would help them, I would I'd break the law. Representative Jason Nemes is renewing his push to legalize medical marijuana in Kentucky, hoping to help people heal. It's unquestionable that it helps some people. It's not a panacea. It doesn't solve the world's problems, but it does solve some individuals' problems. Nemes says the proposal is not a free-for-all. This year's version would not allow patients to smoke it, only take it orally or topically. The bill also outlines four qualifying conditions, chronic pain, epilepsy, multiple sclerosis, and nausea, the latter being a way for cancer patients to qualify. We've limited it to those four because the science is very clear on that. Opponents argue the science isn't clear. Senator and physician Ralph Alvarado says there's no other raw plant that's considered a medicine in its purest form and says there needs to be more studies and research before he can support it. But Nemes points to the dozens of other states that allow it. What we found is that it's helping people. As for revenue, Kentucky doesn't tax medications, so medical marijuana wouldn't be taxed either. I think that is immoral, actually, because uh, then you'd be, pack you'd be making money and taxing folks. Or you'd be making money on the back of sick people, and that's not what this is intended to do. He says first it's a health bill. The financial boost is secondary. It's way past time for Kentucky to have medical marijuana. In 2020, the proposal passed the House floor but wasn't heard in the Senate. While Senator Alvarado says there's not enough studies to support it, Minority Leader Senator Morgan McGarvey says there is bipartisan support, but the bill just has to be presented. I hear people say they're for it. They want it to come up for a vote. So we just need to bring it to the floor of the Senate, vote on it, and get people of Kentucky the relief they need. Representative Nemez expects the bill to be heard in committee as early as Wednesday. If not, then by the end of the week. Monica Harkins, WDRB News.